How's it going, everyone? Tim here, Tier D Adventures. Hope everyone's all well there. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. So today, we got on the bench. We have the starts and pieces to get a new Class 1 up and running. Um, we saw in the last video, went around, looked at a lot of Class 1 chassis options that had my attention. And the chassis that we'll be going with here today is the Everest chassis from XORC. And here it is in an anodized green aluminum. So we have seen this chassis on the channel before. It was my previous C3, but I've swapped out those rails to the XORC L Captain chassis since it is my class three truck. So we're gonna keep these rails in the fleet and go ahead and build a class one. And benefits here with the Everest chassis, um, it is a Ford based chassis design. So instead of the skid being here, it is more Ford based to help with that breakover and everything, especially class one. And I typically run shorter wheelbase class one. So that breakover is very, very important. Also, it is Ford motor mount uh, compatible with the Team Garage Hack Ford motor mount. If that is the transmission setup that you are wanting to use or anything like that. And we do have plenty of shock adjustments here, rear shock towers, and they're adjustable here alongside. And we do have a nice assortment of link adjustments as well. So in addition to that, also we will be using the uh, climber transmission also from XORC. So um, this is very similar to the Alpinist transmission also offered by XORC, except this does not have a dual output. This is just a single output, so it doesn't have the built-in overdrive, but we'll get overdrive from the axles. It is all good. And this does also count as a transfer case. So also good to um, try to get towards my 60 points for class one. And also from XORC, we picked up their dual server mount here, as well as their adjustable pan hard mount. And also picked up the XORC link kit uh, for the Everest here. And I went with a 11.8 inch wheelbase that I will be going with here on class one. Another reason I really like uh, the XORC stuff. And also I think it's very user friendly. And also if you're building a kit, they have just about everything you need. They have your chassis, they have your links, they have servo mounts, they have the panhard mounts, um, and, a wide, and transmissions available. Also, they do have it all in bundles too. So definitely makes it easy. So you can just pick most of your build right there and then the last little bits like shocks and axles. So you're not making five, six, seven different orders. You can make the bulk of your chassis build right there from XORC. Moving on into it, we are going to be building an F10 portal based um, class one here this time. Previously, I was running AR45 for class one, but we are gonna switch it up and go with the F10 portals here. Now, they are a touch wider than AR45 axles, so do mind that with your width. Um, if this isn't actually you're looking at, these are a touch wider than AR45s. And we also outfitted them here with the low profile uh, brass portal cover for the F10 from Vanquish as well. And then on the inside there, like I can mention the climber does not have overdrive, so we're gonna overdrive our front axle. Um, and I'm using the 24 slash 8T um, overdrive gears from Odd 6 Racing, which, mm. which equates to about 22% overdrive. That's how my class one has always been overdriven. Uh, so definitely good there. And we're also gonna throw in these um, beautiful brand new uh, ultra short shocks from Deluxe Fabrication. Got these all put together and ready to go. And in addition to the EXO also offers a trekker ski, which is based for their transmission and everything else. And I forgot to order one. So I'm going to use a 3D printed skid that I already have here laying around. So I'm gonna go ahead and get links assembled. And speaking of links, one cool thing here with the EXO links, they are also color coded. So you know where all your links go when you're putting everything together. And they offer the links for both their chassis that they have available as well as a wide variety of wheelbases and multiple different axle choices too. So definitely um, very, very helpful when the buildings. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the links assembled and get the truck assembled to a slider status and see how everything looks. And then we'll touch a bit on electronics and the rest of the fine details um, as we get going. But I need to go ahead and get started at least as a slider so I can get a body mounted on it because I do have a comp here in a couple weeks and I have no class one. So I have a lot of work to do. So let's check it out. All right, so we have it together there as a slider. We got the links, everything in, went ahead and got the transmission in mounted and some drive shafts. Um, I have a couple extra EXO drive shafts, but I forgot my cutoff wheel at work. So for right now, I just made do with a wild bore and an incision drive shaft that I had laying around. So at this point, we are ready for some electronics. Uh, first up here for my servo winch, I'm gonna go with my good old fashioned trusty uh, in the works RC Ninja winch. We have the G13 Pro, Servo from Three Brothers RC. Motor here also from Three Brothers RC. This is the 2100 KV V3 yellow jacket. And we're gonna power everything up here with the Rhino ESC. Um, I've seen a few things about them, so I went ahead and picked one up, figured I'll give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything trimmed down, soldered up, and get everything working electronically. We're gonna go here 
with the 2.2 shift RC wheels and class one pro line Hyrex tires. I did keep these off my last class one before I sold it. So I'm gonna go and get some wheels tires on it and electronics wired up. We'll see you back here after I get the wheels on and the electronics on. All right, so there we have it. We have a finished running and driving X. So got the rest of the electronics in there. Took it into work today, fabbed up uh, some bumpers there, got them all fit on and the body and everything all good. Took a little bit longer getting the electronics going. Um, the Rhino ESC was a little bit of, uh, we had ran into a few problems with the Rhino ESC, but we are alive and going and nice and quiet servo everything there we are looking good we have all the turning radius there shave the bump stops down a little bit on the f10 portals and we are good and ready to rock and roll super happy with the way everything came out um definitely excited to actually get this out on the rocks this weekend as an actual class one now i've had the chassis out several times but it's at four wheel steer, capper axles, and big tires. So now we will see how it does as an actual class one. And another thing here, again, lots of clearance in there. You know, we have the belly right there for that Ford base chassis. And then we have all this clearance back there and everything there just looks really, really good. So before we put the body on, one last little quick rundown of all the parts that got on there. Now we'll have everything in the description of all the parts that I've used in this build, as well as just a link to the EXO uh, website where you can go and check out their chassis and anything else like that, transmissions, other parts. So from XORC, we're using the Class 1 Everest chassis, and this in here is in an anodized green. And then we have the EXO dual servo mount, we have the EXO adjustable panhard mount, we have the EXO link kit for F10 portals for my 11.8 inch wheelbase, also using the exo climber transmission as well as one of the exo body mounts here in the front and then for drive shafts there underneath here i do have an incision drive shaft in the rear and then a modified wild bore um, there in the front and of course again we are building my class one based off f10 portal axles here we have the low profile um, outer portal covers from vanquish rc and then for overdrive i'm getting everything out of the front axle here with the uh, 24 slash 8t uh, ring and pinion from on six racing so quite about 22 percent overdrive and then we have wheels and tires here again some shift rc 2.2 uh, wheels and we are pairing them with some proline hyrax in g8 compound we're rocking some ultra short draft checks from deluxe fabrications and like i just mentioned i did fab and make these bumpers using some rc fab tabs there and then got everything welded up got a nice little stinger there and everything through and then as far as electronics um, we have a ninja winch right here for my servo winch we are rocking the g13 pro from three brothers rc and then also the 2100 kv yellow jack from three brothers rc and then we are trying out the new uh, rhino esc as well just to you know see what all is out there so that is it as far as chassis and everything that i've got um into this build and then for body change this up for a little bit right now we are actually the lexan currently uh, this is the team c samurai body I'm here. It is 11.8 inch wheelbase um, and everything there went together pretty good. It is just spot on there. Everything's nice and centered. I did go ahead and cut out the rear. I did make a drop bed in there and then I used a nice handy tarp, cover up the shock towers, got a few scale accessories in there, uh, full 3D interior and we do have an interior cage in there as well. So points wise, still a little bit of work to go. I'm set about 54 points right now. I just, I really don't want to make sliders, but I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet, make some sliders, and then just look around for those last few points. But as it sets down, it is ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to take it out and have some fun with it. Take it out this weekend, get some running footage and all that, put all that together, and we'll put that in the next episode of the first actual crawl. But as of right now, that is going to wrap up this episode. Uh, first one here with the Everest actually in a class one instead of how I had had it previously. So I hope you did enjoy the video. Um, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Any comments, questions, anything like that, as always, put it down below. Uh, do my best to get everything answered. And down in the description below, I'll at least have everything that I've used in this build, whether I have it linked or at least um, listed as far as everything that I've used in the build. So I uh, hope you did enjoy. So until next time, everyone, have a great one. Crawl on.